I'm sure you remember, John, from the summer when you were doing all of the wonderful music festivals out in Michigan City, which were very successful, and as if you weren't busy enough, now you just opened a restaurant here in LaPorte, Bourbon Street Bistro, right? It's Bourbon now, Street okay. Bistro. Now, what, what brought this on? What made you decide to do that? You know what? This was in my blood for a long time. I started off in restaurants. I mm -hmm. went to culinary school, and it is in my part of my family history. And so I found a great building, and there was nothing else to compete with it, so I said, why not? Now, speaking of a great building, right here, we're, we're actually upstairs from the restaurant. What is this place here? Because it, I don't, I'm, I'm amazed at how you were able to capture another time and another place so wonderfully. Right. Well, this, this place right here, there, there's actually two buildings. This was the old Etropal Silent Movie Theater. Mm -hmm. The other building was the old First National Bank building. Now, it does look like you've walked back into a, a time and place. Yes. But, you know, the interesting thing about this is that that's what New Orleans was. You know, when you go to New Orleans, it's like walking back in history. Yes. And so with the, the uh, uh, antiques here, the space is raw and rustic. I just felt like this is just a prime example mm -hmm. of an opportunity to kind of tell a story that has depth of history and also sort of food that goes along with it. Absolutely. Now, what, what, what do you do up here? Because you, you can do weddings and parties, and you even have a way of reaching out to the community here. Absolutely. Um, we do private parties here. We cater. We do murder mystery shows. We have live entertainment here, as well as um, our goal is to do something and give back to the community. Part of giving back to the community was we wanted to bring in, you know, local chefs and local chef dignitaries to kind of talk to home cooks who had a real interest in learning the food. One thing, there, there were so many misconceptions about Louisiana food. It was either too hot and no one knew what Creole meant, no one knew what Cajun meant, mm -hmm. and how it all intermingled. So this was an opportunity for us to kind of use this as a way to kind of continue to talk to um, and connect to our local cooks within the community and also um, work with um, and, and kind of help rebrand part of the restaurant. Speaking of culinary skills, I can't even say what's the food here because it's cuisine. I mean, this is cuisine. So tell us what the menu looks like. Sure. Well, the menu is comprised of, you know, Cajun and Creole. So we always like to say it's just Louisiana style cuisine because we're not just Cajun and we're not just Creole. Okay. So we have a variety of items, everything from barbecue shrimp, uh, crab cakes, uh, gumbo, we have uh, jambalaya, shrimp creole, etouffee, and all the other, you know, kind of what we call land yaps, something extra. Now, you know, you could have chosen any kind of cuisine. Why is this so special to you? It's because of the fact that this was my grandmother's heritage. Mm -hmm. um, I owned a company before where I had, you know, 10 restaurants, um, and I also had a seasoning and hot sauce company. It was called Heritage Blends. My grandmother had her own way of putting spice and seasonings on food that made it distinctive to her. Um, because of the fact that she had uh, worked as a plantation slave uh, cook in two different types of plantations, she picked up, you know, seasonings like paprika that they were using from the Spanish side of it and from the French side of it. Um, you know, she picked up other styles of, of cooking and which comprised of her own, you know, uh, fare. Right. Well, speaking of cooking, Chef John, Rick and I are get, are ready to. Tell, oh, no, here he comes. We are ready. I heard food, I know, man. Food. I, I was standing over here to the side I know, right? talking about all Crab this food. cakes. Did you hear? Is, he said Did you hear everything? That's all I had to hear. Jambalaya? That's, yeah. that's what you want? Yes. I, Oh, well, I, it doesn't matter. No, I'm gonna. No, no, no. No, no. Chef John is gonna make whatever he wants for us. That's right. right. That's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, we're ready to go though. Right. And and we like it hot, right? It's spicy. 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 Yeah. We like to call it flavorful. Fla we like it flavor. Okay, so lots of flavor. If it can make my nose run at this time of year, I'm good. Thank you, man. Okay, so are, are we ready? So we're, we're going to head downstairs. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, John, first of all, thank you. Everything looks so good, and it smells so good, and Rick and I are already going to fight over the crab cake here. Don't fight. We'll make you another one. <laughs> okay. Well, can you tell us what everything is here? Sure. This is our um, Louisiana uh, crab cake mm -hmm. topped with a roumelade sauce um, and with leeks. Um, we have our um, uh, crawfish etouffee with a whole crawfish as a garnish. We have our shrimp jambalaya with blackened shrimp on the top, and that is our Bourbon Street 
uh, barbecue shrimp. Nice. As well as our all-time favorite here, fried alligator. I hear that because you can't get this anywhere else in this area, but I heard people will line up for the alligator. And can I tell you, I went to New Orleans. This is better than what I had there. I tasted it already. I'm sorry. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. It is so tender. It's absolutely, it's, it really is fabulous. Fabulous. Awesome. So, um, bravo to your chefs and everything. Very, very Thank good. You. Now, what are your hours? Are those uh, in hours? Right? Currently, right now, for the, uh, um, for until the, we get into the warmer season, we're open from uh, 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time until 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. We have live music on Fridays, and that's Tuesday through Saturdays. Okay. Excellent. I am so ready to eat. I eat. Can, I, I can eat. And you said you had more, right? We just, do. Just we're, want to make we're sure. Gonna, we're going to bring out, what I forgot one of the items. Oh, we have a... There's more? Yeah, fried lobster. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. Rick, Rick, are you ready? Yes, Man, yes, let's yes. Give, give me a high five. Ready, you I'm know ready, what? John. Yes. Thank you, brother. Yes, well. thank you so much. I'm so excited. Where are we going to start? I don't care. Alligator. I want you to try that because okay. that is the best that I've ever tasted. I've been to New Orleans. I said that before. Tell me how tender that is. Go ahead and try it. That's not alligator. No, is this the first time you've ever that had it? That is very, yeah, first time I've ever had it. Isn't it delicious? I thought it'd be like real tough. That no. Was like, like chicken. Yeah. Why is it? Oh, you see chicken. I mean, no, no, it, I know it, what you mean. It's really tender. Okay. Okay. I want a piece of that crab. You want cake. a piece? Okay, yes. here we go. Let's try it. I know this. you're going to eat the whole thing. It's really good. Not delicious? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going for another one. Sorry. You can't have just wow. one. Wow. That's very, phenomenal. very good. Okay. The That's jambalaya. You want to try the? Oh well. The jambalaya. Okay. I'm gonna do the. You're gonna do shrimp that one. Barbecue and right. a, little, a little bit of rice. John, should I get a little bit of rice with it? Mix it all up. That's the way we eat it in New Orleans. Right on. And you know, this is some of my favorite food. You know how much I like flavorful, mm. spicy food. So. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Switch them. Switch it. Yeah. Okay. Try it. All right. Try that. I'm, I want that back. Gonna you're gonna want that one too. Wait, just try it and then you're gonna. Oh, I know. This is my favorite. Jungle is my favorite. Oh, that's so good. Ah. I love that. It's got a little sweet taste to it too. Mm. Oh my gosh, you're not getting. You know, I, I knew you were gonna I like say the barbecue, that. but you're not getting that back. Okay. Okay. Lobster, fried lobster. Hey, before we try the lobster, you know where we have to go? Where? To Nico. Oh. Well, I've worked up an appetite. We probably should burn some calories. Yeah, we really do need to burn some calories. So mm. let's. Why don't we skate on over to Nipco? Skate on over. I'm gonna skate on over. We're coming back. We'll have yeah, more we'll, of this. We'll food. be back. But here we go. I didn't try this yet. Mm. 